screams of outrage from fellow inmates as Levy Aaron enters court, a reflection of the heinous crime he's charged with. Wait formal reading of the charges and her plea of not guilty, not the rights they're under. He pleads not guilty to the charges of kidnapping and killing eight-year-old Libby Kletsky. His attorneys told a judge Thursday Aaron may be mentally ill. He's indicated to me that he hears voices and there's some hallucinations involved as well. well he's remanded at this time to see what his psychological state is. And that's the most important thing right now for everyone involved, whether it's the defense or even the prosecution. So we want to really get a handle on what we're dealing with emotionally and, and psychologically. Police say Aaron abducted the little boy Monday on his way home from day camp after the young boy had stopped to ask for directions. Aaron then allegedly took the boy home, smothered him to death, and cut him up into pieces. Police found a trail of blood and the boy's feet in a freezer in Aaron's home. Investigators say Aaron confessed the whole thing to police. He goes into some graphic detail as to uh, how the boy died and what he did after, after, the boy, uh, after the boy died. And he does at the end say words to the effect that he's sorry for the, the trouble he's caused. Forensic evidence from the scene suggests a struggle and that little Libby may have been tied up. Although Aaron has been charged with murder, Brooklyn District Attorney Charles Hines says he could face more charges. And then we will ask for uh, the, uh, uh, the main charge of felony murder based on the kidnapping, which is murder in the first degree, and whatever other charges we think are sustainable. The first degree murder charge alone could lock Aaron up for life without parole. For now, he is under suicide watch in police custody. In Brooklyn, New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.